In my last video, I taught you how to open up a new page and add a table to it. And right now, I'm going to teach you what kind of different table tabs you can have in order to organize your table and make it the best fit for you. So first, I want to point out that when you click table right here, we can rename it. So it's not just boring titled theme table. So I'm going to rename this All Notion Ideas. And then I'm going to actually hide this database title. I'm going to go think about what I actually want within this database. So I'm going to go over here and add or switch out the tags to um, we call, um, what should we call them? Let's say we want to organize our database uh, notion ideas based off of their categories and what they can do. So we can just call it categories. Um, and then we're going to make sure that it's single select because I like to make sure that everything can fall under a few categories versus a bunch of different ones that you can like in, in, integrate within each other. So let's say tables, oops, tables, enter. Then we're going to create another one that is about um, relationships and this is not relationships between people, but relationships between tables. Um, and I'm also going to create a category called uh, dashboard because I have some secrets coming up your way. So that's just one way we can do it. Another way we, we can organize our table is by changing the name of the, the property with the title. So I like to say, um, I like to actually call it the title of video. So this way when I go to post this on YouTube, all I have to do is copy and paste this. So how to organize your Notion tables. Now if I wanted to, I can open that up and add more context to it, but that'll be a different video. And I can always add another um, property to it. And I would like to add a checkbox because I think it's very simple to um, upload it. I think it's very simple uh, to see that it's organized and just that it's checked off. And I like to move that over to the left. So that way when I or when I've organized or when I upload this, all I have to do is click it and I can see that it's already done. In another video, I'm going to show you how to view only ones that have not been uploaded. So that way, once this upload is done, it'll disappear. Once you've checked it, it disappears and it helps save so much time and brain space when you are looking at your tables. But that's for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.